Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports and subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, Joseph Parker, fresh off of his third round, uh, TKO went over Alexander Dimitrenko. You know, he's getting a lot of high praise right now, and he's putting himself in a great position to fight Anthony Joshua for a title next year. Um, and as you guys know, I've said that many times. I made videos about that fight. The, a lot, both those fighters, uh, and Shannon Briggs even talked about it in an interview, interview we did. Um, you know, Anthony or Joseph Parker is a great talent, and you know it's not just me saying this. Some of the greatest heavyweights who ever lived. One of them, whose picture I even have on my wall, as you guys can see right there, this guy, Larry Holmes, even said Joseph Parker is a great talent, and that he will be someone that. Can become heavyweight champion of the world one day, but Larry Holmes isn't, isn't the only one. It was been reported by boxing scene dot com that George Foreman gave Joseph Parker high praise. I want I want to uh, tell you guys what he said. He said, "I quote: uh, Looks like you have a have a fighter with the future in the heavyweights, most certainly a top contender." Um, that's really all he said. He didn't say much. He said, "Looks like you have a, fi a fighter with the future in the heavyweight division, most certainly a top contender." And then. To actually read you guys what Larry Holmes said, and there's interviews about Larry Holmes talking about Joseph Parker, and um, he said this. He said, uh, and this is back in April. He said, uh, "I quote: I think Joseph Parker is going to become. I think Joseph Parker is going to become heavyweight champion of the world. If I had to bet on it, I would take him." And uh, that interview was conducted with uh, Trackside Radio or whatever. Anyway. So yeah, there you have it. You know, Parker has uh, been rumored to fight Andy Ruiz soon. December tenth is the date we were hearing. But you know, it's a great thing when you have some of the greatest heavyweights of all time. Uh, you know, basically telling you that you're a great talent in the sport. Hopefully, he can stay on the humble path and, and continue to improve. Because I like Parker. I think you know his win over Carlos Takam was obviously a really good step for him, beating a, a long rangey guy like Dimitrenko and, and and doing it so in impressive fashion, or like you know in quick fashion, I should say. And that was also very impressive. Um, one thing I found interesting. One thing I found very interesting was that when Parker, because uh, pa Joseph Parker actually met Larry Holmes, and this is about two years ago he met him uh, from the interview that I saw, and Larry Holmes was telling him about the jab, and he was saying, you know, instead of instead of you know, because a lot of heavyweights when they throw their jabs, you know, they're, they're real tight, they clinch their fists, and it's just like ah, ah. Larry was saying, if you want to throw a jab, right? If you want to throw a jab. And you know you slap it like this, and then when, and then and then when it comes time to throw the actual jab, and then you then, then you kind of close your fist, and then you turn your punches. And he was he was talking about that. And you guys see that Joseph Parker's been doing more of that, which is why when you see him, you know, slap him with the jab, you know, it's 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 coming with with, with great speed because he, he he's more looser and he can just get it out there, and then he can time guys, he can time guys, and then come over the top with with, with his other hand. So Joseph Parker, he's someone that I'm very interested in, you know. Joshua Parker, you know, for me, um, bias aside, um, that to me at the heavyweight division is like the fight, number one fight I would like to see. Um, there's some other good ones, you know, you have uh, Joshua Ortiz, Klitschko Joshua, uh, another personal one favorite of mine that I want to see, pro bad, Trevor Bryan versus Jarrell Miller. But for me, as far as talent goes, as far as you know, skill sets go, I, that's the fight I want to see. And hopefully, you know, if, if, if that fight for with Ruiz is for a title, you know, it could be a huge unification fight. Two young undefeated heavyweights putting it on the line. These are the kind of those are the kind of fights we need in the heavyweight division. And um, you know, just want, Joe, just wanted to get this out there. George Foreman joins Larry Holmes in giving Joseph Parker praise and saying that uh, he'll be somebody in the heavyweight division for many years to come. So leave your comments down below. Take the time to subscribe and you can love me or you can hate me but I'm just a kid from Dania. So until next time take care guys.